Good afternoon, 22nd February 22, USA Strategic Maritime 4. This is the last series of videos regarding competitive advantages of investing in the USA Maritime sector and declaring it a strategic. Now, we have a huge competitive advantage in USA because customs, immigration can really put airports airlines, seafarers as heroes. We have huge issue with COVID for transfer of seafarers, but also USA has done something amazing. Thank you very much indeed from my heart to have fascinated worldwide crew on board USA ports. This is something that no other country has done before. It's little karma that if we look from USA to the horizon, of course, the horizon we look to USA like now. And therefore, it is very important to thank the Coast Guard. Thank you very much from my heart. It is highly professionals, police, customs, security forces, verification of passports, visas, for seafarers. I see a lot of countries are comparing seafarers with the rest of humans, but we have these heroes that supply 90% America homes. 90%. I mean, it's very simple. And if we start putting problems to these seafarers, we can put solutions. Number one, we have a queue, for example, in the airports. As honorary consul, I can say that sometimes in Miami airport, for example, there is the fast lane, the queue for diplomats. And I wonder why a seafarer that brings 22 million intrinsic value to their own country, which should be considered a hero. Because if the maritime sector has been declared as a digit, how about the seafarers? These guys, my dear USA security forces, these guys, I mean, go nine months, six months away from home, bring 22 million to their own countries. What are them? These are heroes. These are patriots. We are putting these issues for the visas. We are having these issues in the airports that they have to do these big long queues. And then we see the diplomats queues that are empty. How much income does or intrinsic value generate one diplomat and one seafarer? I know a seafarer is 22 million, just one. Zero risk, every one of them. Why don't we have a fast lane for them in USA? Why don't airlines allow them 30 kilograms suitcase? Because if they are going to be away for six months, nine months, four months, why should we charge them extra? Why don't airlines treat them as heroes as they are and give them a couple of bottles of water? Yes, two trays, food. Yes, because they have to travel a long time. They are doing something that is not essential, it's fundamental for society and for USA. Why do we treat them the same as the rest of the humans? I don't think that's true, dear security forces. I really would like to see how these are treated like heroes because they are so. And also the ship owners, the same treat. Here in Spain, we get fines of the SS Social Security for doing this paper wrong, this paper right, the 20th, $300,000 to my company, to my pocket, for what? Treat this transparency, accountability, corporate social responsibility, because if we look to the horizon, the horizon is going to look towards us. And if we look towards the intrinsic value of the maritime strategic sector of hero ship owners, American hero ship owners, ship fighters, that's going to return in so many different ways for USA. Hope you like this one too. Thank you very much indeed. Like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.